Hey all, Tony Bing here. Hello and welcome back to another video for Marvel Strike Force. Now we have another Juggernaut video today. We're fairly getting them out now. This particular video we will be running through some T8 Blitz because we don't have the full Brotherhood team and we don't have Magneto yet. The the synergies aren't particularly strong with them, so he may not shine in these matches. But hopefully, it'll be a bit of fun to show them off anyway. So let's see the team setup we'll be using first. With this team set up here, then the idea was to pair them up with the only other Brotherhood character I have at the moment, as of course Mystique. From there, other characters that work well with Mystique would be Loki, because they've got the nukes on the first turn. And if I'm using Loki, then we may as well throw in some more actual sorcerers as well. So you've got Mordo, and then you've got Scarlet Witch to prolong any debuffs we fling up as well here. So I reckon we should get on okay with this team. So I'll do this first match on times one and then the further matches I'll do on times two. The times one is just really to show off these characters here. So I would say we probably want to take out Gamora or Daredevil first. We'll try and take out Daredevil. Let's see. So you've got the defence down there. That was perfect. It was actually Gamora and then Hulk. So that was around about 30,000 damage we've done. Now from here, I'm never sure about using this in the first turn but I reckon I'll go for it because Scarlet should go shortly afterwards and prolong any stuns or blinds we get. Let's see, so we get a stun and two blinds there I think, that was really nice. We didn't get a blind on Daredevil thankfully because that would be wasted. Right, and then what we'll do next is we'll now take out Daredevil. If you ever get stuck on this animation, which does happen, just press auto and then press it off again and it will unstick. It's something I've seen come up a few times. So Scarlet will prolong everything. Juggernaut really is slow. Obviously that's almost a full turn of everyone and we've not had the, the chance to taunt up yet. Although when we do, it really is a thing of beauty, all the buffs he puts on himself and he's got the new one as well, the immunity. <laughs> Wolverine missing absolutely everyone there. So here we go. Awesome animation and look at all the buffs on him there. He gets a charge as well on his first turn. So let's see. So you've got the charge, you've got death proof, you get defense up for two turns and you've got immunity. And you can see immunity is additional negative effects cannot be applied to this character. So you can still strip his taunts and his buffs and so on but you can't add any debuffs to them so that's pretty nice there so there's no slowing them down and there's certainly no stunning them either even the, in regards to stun through his passive he gets that all the time so he's essentially stun immune but let's move on here so we'll bring in the summons we'll see how he does tanking wise now that he's pulling all the aggro he's got the regen as well if he does take a bit of damage and the evade went on him of course it did because of the move I used there Right, let's see. We'll steal the offence up from Gamora. I find the special on Mystique's actually a little bit weak. It's only really worth using if you're trying to strip stealth. If you're not, I would just use the basic. So what we'll do, we'll apply some debuffs here as well. Defence down and slow. This should be nice and easy, but I'm not sure how much of a contribution that Juggernaut is actually making here. Saying that, he will get his special, or his ultimate even, on the next turn, I believe. We'll see how that works out. It's Gamora almost down. Loki's summons really do hit pretty hard. 10,000 is pretty decent. So to work on Spider-Man. These days I always prefer to actually just completely ignore Hulk. I was given that advice quite some time ago in a video after I spent a whole match wailing on Hulk, trying to take him down. And all I've done was actually enrage him. So just ignore him now. Right, here we go for the the ultimate or to be. I reckon if we don't actually use the ultimate and try and charge up the basic for the additional charges, then I'm not actually going to get a chance to use it. So we'll fire it off here. What a matchup. Juggernaut versus the Hulk. Didn't do the same amount of damage, but I don't have him properly leveled up at the moment. So let's start to burn down Wolverine. This has been really easy here, but I think it's a support character. Juggernaut really hasn't done much at all. He's not had a chance to do much though. No. 
Nice dodge there. Again, we'll just go for the basic on Mystique. I'll quickly zip through the skills here. It really does feel pretty sluggish when you are doing it on times one. But it's good to show off the animations as well because they do look really pretty awesome. Only the people that do the animations and art style were the people in charge of the store. Imagine it would be a lot better. Still reeling from having to spend close to £50 to get Juggernaut. That could have got me Red Dead Redemption 2 or the latest Assassin's Creed which I had my eye on. So, a bit annoying, but got all these videos out so that will hopefully make up for it. Right, I'll actually bump it up now to be honest because we're essentially almost done. We'll hit auto as well here. Shouldn't take long to take out Hulk. He's really not done anything this match due to the, the double stun we placed in him. There you go. That was a lot quicker. So let's try a different team here. Hopefully one with Juggernaut gets a bit more of action. So I'm really going for a strange team here, but I do have the speed up to hopefully give Juggernaut a few more turns. So we'll see how that works out. We've got a shield team to go up against here, minus Nick Fury. I really have no idea how this will actually go here. Let's see if we can ability block Black Widow. Just a heal block, unfortunately. So she'll stealth and speed everyone up. That was a pity. Wow, all those buffs already. No way of flipping them or anything like that, unfortunately. It'll slow everyone down. That will negate the speed buff. Ant-Man's not doing too well. Let's take out Quake. Wow, that was nice fence up on that and then we're going for the taunt of course you always start off with that I don't really see any situation where you would want to use the the basic first 3000 damage you took there that was interesting was everything actually stripped there I suppose they would have been because Black Widow would steal that effects so I need to watch that back but I believe that's possibly what happened there. So that's interesting, and that looks like Black Widow could be quite a strong counter to him. Right, let's go for the ultimate here. Slow down the animations, actually. No, didn't manage to catch it in time there. It was too fast for me. Fair amount of healing on these characters, but I reckon with the burst damage we've got, we'll be fine. I think with the ultimate you probably want to hold off using it if you can because after you've used that initial taunt in the first turn then all he's really doing is he's building up the charges and the charges are built up for the entire purpose of getting the ultimate off so potentially I would say you want to hold off on that and try and get your four charges and it should do a absolute heap of damage. Let's see, we'll go for the ability block here. Once you pair him up with Magneto as well, of course he gets the turn, or the taunt even, for two turns. And that'll make him a lot more useful. Like most of the characters in our days that are built around teams, you really need to drop them in that particular team to really see them shine. He seems decent on his own, but he really does need the Brotherhood and Magneto. Decent damage there, 14,000. That was nice and Winter Soldier. And there we go. So we'll do one more match here to show them off. And I think I'll maybe go for an X-Men themed match for a bit of fun. So here's our X-Men themed team here. I don't know how well they will get on to be honest. Because Storm's not the greatest character in Blitz at all. And Wolverine, he's really pretty sluggish as well. Although Deadpool and Cable are pretty awesome. Especially when you pair them up together. So here we go. So this match here I reckon it could be pretty rough given the characters we're facing off against, so we'll see how we got on anyway. We'll try and take out Crossbones first. Got the slow on him, so that's nice. Do we go for the basic? Let's see. 170% damage, or do we go for this one? We'll go for the chain, although we're not applying bleed or anything like that, but we'll go for that anyway. There we go, he bounced back again there, so that worked out nice. Sometimes he'll bounce in the opposite direction, and you're not doing as much damage on the primary target, so there is a lot of randomness in using that skill. Cable hits pretty hard there. Please don't get taken out, Juggernaut. This is not a good showcase if you do. Here we go, we've got the taunt now. So the defence up and the immunity. 
So that's interesting. You see that he's got the defense down, so granting immunity doesn't cleanse debuffs, it only stops you from getting any further debuffs. So we charge up Storm here, no point in using her ultimate just yet, even though she's just about down. I feel like I'm going to lose this one, but it was to be expected since the patch. The 8.3 matches and Blitz are way harder. I don't know if something's went wrong there. Let's go for this here and we'll charge up the bars when we do it on Deadpool and Cable. Speed bar fills up by 700, which is really amazing. We'll go for Spidey next because he's not got any kind of buff on him. Dodges, unfortunately. There's Juggernaut down. Let's go for the speed reduction here. And we'll go back to Spidey. Let's actually go for the ultimate on Storm. It's not going to do much, but she's about to get wiped anyway, so. Going to struggle here. Going to really struggle. Right, let's see. What to do? I'm not sure if the basic will take out Spidey. We'll try. It did take him out, so I've got the ultimate for the next turn. That's Cable gone. Absolutely smashed here. This was just a team I did throw together in my defence just to see how the X-Men would work together thematically. They don't, clearly. <laughs> you need the Brotherhood and we need Magneto. So that's, that's almost done. And there we go. That's us down. So that's me done uh, the three videos I always aim to do when a new character comes out or the initial three videos. So what I'll be looking to do next once I've had a lot more playtime with Juggernaut is do the in-depth review. But I really want to play with him a lot, get a good feel for him before I actually go and do that review. So thanks for tuning in for this. I hope it was interesting enough and I'll see you all again soon.